G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you haven't tried this recipe in the past, you have to give it a go at least once because it really tastes fantastic and it's simple to make. The flavors in your mouth just go, mmm, they're delicious. So join me today as I make my version of a mojito pie. Now we're going to start by making our base. So into a bowl, I'm going to place in one and a half cups of crushed up graham crackers or just some sort of all wheat biscuits. Next for some sweetness, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of sugar, followed by five tablespoons of melted butter. Now simply give it a good mix around until it's well combined. Next we're going to place our crust mixture into a greased and lined pie dish. And we're going to even out the bottom and just slightly raise it up onto the sides. Now we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Now while the pie crust is in the oven we're going to start on the filling. So we're going to start off with half a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice and a quarter of a cup of fresh mint leaves. And next, using whatever you can find around the kitchen, just keep on squishing and squashing those mint leaves until you release that lovely mint flavor into the lime juice. Now once done, just simply strain the juice into another container, just so you don't have all those mint leaves left over. Now into a separate mixer bowl, I'm going to place in a 400 gram can of sweetened condensed milk, followed by four egg yolks. And now with a hand mixer or a stem mixer, we're going to whip this up until it's well combined. Now that that's mixed through, we're going to pour in our lime and mint juice, as well as two tablespoons of rum. Now you don't have to worry about the alcohol content, because as soon as it's cooked, there will be no alcohol left. And now simply mix it through until it's well combined. Okay, so our pie base is fresh out of the oven, so we're just going to pour our mixture right on. Okay, so now we're going to place this back into the oven and we're going to cook it in there for 15 minutes. And once we take it out of the oven, we're going to sit it on a wire rack for about half an hour to 40 minutes, just to give it a chance to cool down to room temperature. And then we're going to place it into the fridge for three hours to completely set. Okay, so I've taken our pie out of the fridge and I've just given a quick dress up just with some whipped cream on the outside. That's completely optional, of course. And another optional extra, I've just got some zest from a lime. I'm just going to sprinkle just some of that on the cream just to dress it up and for that extra bit of flavor. And there we have one delicious mojito pie. Now it's actually a very easy pie to make, but the taste is really unbelievable. It's just something you have to try at least once because I know you'll try it again. It is a sweeter pie, but when you mix in that lime juice and that lovely taste of mint, it really gives it a lovely, creamy, sweet taste. It's the sort of pie you have a slice of, and you know you want a second slice. That's how good it is. But no matter whether you have one slice or two, this mojito pie is going to taste simply delish. So please give it a go, try it at least once because I know that you'll absolutely love it. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.